Well, hello and welcome to a special edition of uh, CT Sports Now on the Vantage Sports Network. Here we are. It's time to unveil the New Haven Register All-State Team. We're taking the top 12 players from the whole state and putting them on the New Haven Reg Register team. This is Joe Morelli from the, uh, the New Haven Register. I know you spent hours going through <laughs> all of the players. This was not an easy task. Days, Joe. weeks. <laughs> spent my entire March basically working on it in the back of my mind and then to present it here today. It was this one of the stronger years overall for high school basketball, I think, in the state of Connecticut as far as individual talent? Yeah, I, I think so because you, there's a lot of guys at the top and, and there's so many. There's not much separating the first and second team. There really isn't because the guys who drop from the first team make the second team. So uh, there's a lot of double-double guys. There's a lot of guys with great stats and a lot of guys going places, but you only can pick 12. All right, so we'll have 12, including a, a player of the year, a coach of the year. Let's get started. We're going we're gonna to unveil each player in alphabetical order. So showing no preference anywhere, the players in alphabetical order by last name. Let's meet the first member of the New Haven Register All-State Team. Kristen Adams, Junior at Hill House, and I love my mother's cooking. Adams is 6'4", but at times plays much bigger. He averaged 12 rebounds a game this past season to go along with his 14 points a game. Basketball is my life. I love it. And it shows. He helped lead Hill House to the double all state title and the SEC championship. In fact, he was named the SEC tournament's most outstanding player. Every time we go out and put the jerseys on, um, we put on for New Haven, put on for our families, and um, for our teams. Adams has an inside power game, but it's not all just about Braun. He's a thinking man. When I'm not playing basketball, I like to play chess. It's Christian Adams, All-State guard forward from Hill House High School. Uh, well, I, I wasn't sure how to list him, a guard or a forward, but he really can play both positions. He's a swing man. He's a double-double guy in the biggest of games. As you said, the SEC tournament MVP, he played big with three straight threes in the final, class double-level final against East Hartford for back-to-back -back state championships. He's an integral part of what Hill House does, and he'll be one of the best players in the state next year. And you bring up position. Uh, and that he plays. As far as putting this team together, does position matter? Do you just take the top 12 guys and put them on Position all state? does factor in, Mark, but uh, honestly, it's in the final analysis, it's the top 12. All right, there you go. That said, let's meet the second player on the register, all state team. He happens to be one of Christian Adams' teammates. My name is Byron Breland. I go to Hill House High School. I'm a junior. Um, one thing most people don't know about me is that I like watching marine biology. Byron Breland, known to his teammates as Trey, says he loves all marine life and gets especially excited about Shark Week. Perhaps that's where he learned to attack the rim the way he does. My blood starts to boil when I hear the crowd go crazy. I, just, I, like, I like the line there. Greenland averaged over 14 points, five assists, and eight rebounds a game, helping to lead the academics to their second straight double L state championship. Um, this, is the, this is my favorite ring because it's my first one. I also got another one in football, but I just, it's, it's something about this ring that's just, I like it the most. With another year left in high school, he'll have chances to get rings for all his fingers. It's Byron Breland, all state guard for Hill House High School. Here's another guy who could do it all, yeah. right? He's, what, 6'2", 6'3", but I think he plays a lot bigger than that. Well, as you can see and by the highlights, he finishes at the rim with, with anybody in the state of Connecticut. Yeah. Um, Tyler Douglas and, and company were able to find him. But I think next year they're gonna, he's going to need to do more double-double stuff like he did uh, as a sophomore. He really came into everybody's view. And he's getting looks away from Division I schools, and I'm sure he'll get more as the time goes on. I think he needs to pick a school close to the ocean. Right, so we can continue well, on the well, I mean, it's anywhere <laughs> to deal with. So. And, and anywhere in this state would be fine, I'm <laughs> sure. Go. I'm sure they'd all be interested. There so you go. Kid like that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, so we're going to move on. So we've had two kids from from Hill House, and again, it didn't position factors in, but school does not, obviously, and uh, the, just the best players in the state, part of this 12-man team. And I guess now it's time to look at our third member of the All-State squad. Um, my name is Isaiah Gator. Uh, junior, go to Sacred Heart, and one thing I like is uh, doing volunteer work and feeding the homeless. Isaiah Gator helped lead the Hearts to the Class L State Championship and the only undefeated record in the state. If I wasn't playing basketball, I would be a uh, doctor. He was able to find a cure for the team when it lost another New Haven Register All-State player to injury right before the playoffs started. 
I'm most proud of my team is because they play hard and they never gave up when people doubted us. He averaged 16 and a half points and over seven rebounds a game this season. Isaiah Gator, All-State guard from Sacred Heart High School. One thing I love about Isaiah Gator's game is his unselfishness. Here's a guy who probably could have had much uh, higher point totals. That team in general just shared the ball really well. Well, he was the man at Platt the year before, and he transfers to Sacred Heart, where a team that's on this, coming off this incredible back-to-back -back state champ, excuse me, three in a row. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and now he's a part of a team where Raheem Solomon's the man. And then Raheem Solomon goes down in, in the uh, state tournament, and he basically picks up a lot of the integral parts of what he had to do, scoring. He had 24 in the finals against Notre Dame of Fairfield, uh, Class L. So he's a guy who could do a lot of different things, and you need to do different things to be able to make this team. All right. Very opp opportunistic, I thought, at both ends of the floor. Play, he plays very solid defense as well. He's a fun player to watch. But he doesn't change expression. He's yeah. that kind of guy you can count. He's smooth and, I mean, like I said, he fit in seamlessly to what they were doing at Sacred Heart. It's not that easy to do. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Let's uh, meet the next member of the New Haven Register All-State Team. I'm Patrick Harding, Fairfield Prep Senior, and one of my favorite shows is Gossip Girl. Well, there's certainly plenty to talk about when it comes to his game. <laughs> Scored over a thousand points in his career at Fairfield Prep. Despite missing several games with a shoulder injury, he still helped lead the Jesuits to the quarterfinals of this year's Double L Tournament. He averaged nearly 20 points, 14 rebounds, and five assists a game. And he's certainly not above trash talking to gain an advantage. Well, it depends on the kid you're playing against because some people are mental like midgets, as we like to say. So just their game is their game's over by the before the game starts. Patrick Harding, all state forward from Fairfield Prep. Can't spin it. <laughs> he may not be able to spin it, but he could score it and yeah, he could yeah. rebound it. He was swag a force to, yeah. to that talk there. But what? he's kind of an old school, and that, that's kind of coming back now. We're starting to see the bigs that are more post players, and he's kind of one of them, right? A true double double guy every time on the floor. I mean, they missed his presence when he was out with yep. injury. Um, but he could also step out and shoot the three, which is unique for a guy 6'8. Let's put it this way there are very few guys in the state who's had much, as much success against Hill House as Patrick Harding has. Yeah. And matter true. of fact, he goes out with a winning record. I don't think anybody else outside of prep has that. So that's, that says a lot. Well, speak, speaking of Hill House, it's time to meet our next member of the New Haven Register All-State Team, another Hill House guy. I'm Joseph Kasperzak, senior Hill House guard, and I don't like to get haircuts. How good is he? Well, he makes the All-State Team despite missing nine games with a wrist injury this year. I just don't like losing, so I just I'll go out every game, play like it's my last, play my hardest. Casper Zach averaged 18 points, five steals, and five assists a game this season while reaching over a thousand points for his career at Hill House. Many of those points scored in thrilling fashion. When I dunk, it's just, it's really for the crowd. Once I hear the crowd start cheering, it just get my adrenaline pumping, it just make me go even harder. Joseph Kasperzak, All-State guard from Hill House High School. Says he dunked for the first time in eighth grade. So he's been dunking for a long time now. Well, I've seen a lot, plenty of dunks over yeah. the course of his career. The guy's, kid's been tremendous. I mean, he's missed time again for injury over the course of the last two years, but they are so much better when he's on the court than when he's off of it. It's that simple. Well, you know, as we move on to our next player, I think it says a lot. We won't give it away yet, but it says a lot to the quality of basketball in one particular city in the state, that city being Waterbury, because uh, they had a tremendous team in Sacred Heart and now another member of the All-State team right now. Jeremiah Kendall from Crosby High School, 6'5", basketball player. Uh, I love my mom's pork chops. <laughs> All that protein must be doing him right. Six times Kendall went off for 40 or more points in a game. That helped get his average up to 28 per game. He also averaged 14 rebounds and three assists while shooting 50%. If I wasn't playing basketball, I'll probably be in the streets maybe. Well, thankfully for him and Crosby, he had basketball. Led the Bulldogs to the state playoff quarterfinal. <laughs> Jeremiah Kendall, All-State forward from Crosby High School. You got that? Yeah. 
Kid put up some big time numbers, Joe. Like I said, like you, this piece says, forty points six or more times. Yeah. I mean, he's he was their player, and probably the, the biggest reason, obviously, that they got where they got to the uh, Class L quarterfinals. Yeah, again, a lot of talent in the city of Waterbury. A lot of talent in the state. We've seen half of the All-State team putting uh, being put out by the New Haven Register. And when we come back, the second half of the team, we've also got to talk about our Player of the Year and our Coach of the Year. And it's all coming up next here on CT Sports Now. The bouncing basketball. As we come back to the special edition of CT Sports Now here on the Vantage Sports Network. It is the New Haven Register, All-State basketball show as we unveil the uh, 2017 All-State basketball uh, squad put together by Joe Morelli from the Register and his outstanding staff. So we've seen half of it. It's time, I guess, to move on, right? Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get right to it. And remember, these are all done in alphabetical order. We're showing no preferences here. I know I, 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 you, you get the phone calls. We want to yeah, make, yeah. Sure, we, we make, make sure we know yeah. the, the email and the phone calls. This is all about being in alphabetical order. With that said, here's our next member of the New Haven Register All-State Team. My name is J.C. Martin. I'm a senior at Weaver, and I love ESPN. And perhaps one day you'll be seeing his highlights there. The 5'8 guard from Weaver averaged 18 points a game en route to becoming the school's fourth all-time leading scorer, proving you don't have to be tall to play the game. Not at all. You just have, have to have a lot of heart. Martin also averaged over six and a half assists, over four and a half steals, and four and a half rebounds a game. Hartford basketball is really competitive. We have a lot of city legends there. I want to be known as one of the best ones there and make it farther than everybody else. JC Martin, All-State guard from Weaver High School. An uh, outstanding talent. What in your mind put, puts him, uh, give me one or two intangibles or, or things that, that put him on this squad? Well, you couldn't stop him getting to the basket at five foot eight. I mean, he just meant so much to that team, him and his brother Chalen. But he just can score in so many different ways from outside, inside. And he's a leader on that team. I mean, they pl he played in three state finals, and uh, East Hale Harford derailed a fourth straight chance to play in the double L final. And in the last couple of years, they, they petitioned to play in double L. And he played against the best competition in the state in CCC. He's that kind of player. He's he really is a good player. In fact, he almost, he just missed last year. Interesting. All right. With that said, let's move on and meet. They just it's like one good player, then we meet another really good player. Here he is, our our, our next member of the 2017 New Haven Register All State Boys Basketball Team. Hi, I'm Mike McGurl. I go to East Catholic High School. And I like the show Vampire Diaries. He may like vampires, but this two-time member of the New Haven Register All-State team shines under the bright lights. How about these numbers? Average 22 points, six assists, and nine rebounds a game this season. One other thing that nobody else really knows about me is that I'm into CrossFit training in the offseason. McGurl is heading off to Manhattan, Kansas to play his college ball at Kansas State. Mike McGurl, All-State forward from East Catholic High School. You take a look at him, you're surprised that he's into CrossFit. I mean, I don't know if there's any body fat on that kid. <laughs> no, he's in, he's in some <laughs> serious <laughs> shape. No, nah, he's tremendous. Like I said, one of the few two-time All-Staters on this team. Last year, he was the man in the mask, but he made so many big plays for that team to get to the Class L State Championship. And this year, they didn't get to where they want to go. They got stopped by Hill House, which is uh, Hill House Doesn't does that to, a, they does, they do that to yeah. a lot of kids. And listen, they made sure they, they shut him down and they made him a focal point. So that's... That speaks a lot to why he's on his team as well. If they can hold him down, I mean, if they put that much effort into doing that, and plus his numbers speak for themselves, and yeah. he's going to Kansas State. Yeah, I think I think he's one of those that got. I mean, he was tremendous a year ago, got even better uh, in his senior season. So yeah, that says a lot. He does a lot, of, and in, in, in the tournament, besides the Hillhouse game, he did a lot in the fourth quarter, and he's that kind of player. All right, let's keep it moving here. Meet the next member of the New Haven Register All State team. CJ Seaforth. From him to high school, senior. Um, besides basketball, uh, I like to eat spaghetti. Favorite meal, my dad's spaghetti and my stepmom's spaghetti. Well, apparently it works. Seaforth was one of the state's most explosive players, averaging nearly 22 points a game, six assists, five rebounds, and four steals. He scored over 1,000 points in his high school career. When I'm not playing basketball, I like to hang out with my family, hang out with a couple of friends. 
uh, especially girls. Being close to family and friends is part of the reason Seaforth chose to stay close to home and play his college basketball at Iona. CJ Seaforth, All-State guard from Hamden High School. Listen, out of all the players, he had spinning the basketball on his finger down. He had that down. Apparently, so chicks smooth. dig that too. Uh, apparently, <laughs> so smooth this kid. Well, the thing that's going to get lost in, the, in this year f for him is that he had to lead a young team against a, a powerhouse schedule, arguably the, the best schedule in the state, Notre Dame twice, Hill House twice, ended up being East Catholic twice, a team that eliminated him in the tournament. I mean, he averaged those numbers against great teams, and, and he was basically the focal point of opposing defenses, and he was able to get those numbers. He's that kind of player, and I think he's going to follow a long list of kids from the state who, who are going, going to do well in the MAC. Yeah, tremendous score. Really kind of the definition of slasher, which is, I think, what you could call our next player from the middle of the state on this All-State squad. Jared Simmons, uh, senior guard at New England High School. When I'm older, I want to be a police officer. Well, he's already a sharpshooter. Simmons ends his four years at Newington as the school's all-time leader in three-pointers made, scoring, and assists. The most proud I am about my basketball is how many buckets I get. Well, he gets a lot of them. Average 21 and a half points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. This is his second straight year on the New Haven Register All-State Team. When I'm done playing basketball, I want to coach uh, little kids. It's Jared Simmons, All-State guard from Newington High School. Outstanding. Uh, again, one of those pure scoring types, right? And one of those two-time selections we have uh, on the team this year. I mean, I think a lot of people forgot about him because they went, I think they started the year 0-3, played Notre Dame and played a couple other schools, and they got forgotten about in the CCC. But he's basically all they had coming back last this year, and he's able to put up those numbers and become, like I said, the all-time leading scorer. I mean, it says a lot. And again, he's going to end up going to prep school, but he's a tremendous volume kind of scorer. Which is, uh, as you see, is a number of guys on this team. Hi, I'm Raheem Solomon. All right, that said, they're getting a jump on us. Uh oh, but we, spoiler yeah. alert. We, it's okay. we, we have, we have Sorry, another, Jared. Player, <laughs> another player to, uh, to meet. I, I, I think we know who it is now, but let him introduce himself again. Hi, I'm Raheem Solomon from um, Sacred Heart Junior, and I like to dance. Raheem Solomon danced his way to 19 and a half points, five and a half rebounds, and almost three assists per game. Mm. His play has already landed the 6'3 junior guard offers from Division I schools, something he knows well from his brother, former Sacred Heart star Mustafa Heron, now playing at Auburn. But Solomon's not worried about the recruiting dance right now. He has other dances on his mind. I like doing the mayne and all that. <laughs> Raheem Solomon, All-State guard from Sacred Heart. So here he goes down right before the playoffs start, right? I guess in the in the NVL uh, championships, he goes down with the knee injury, didn't get to play in the state championship tournament, and his team still wins it. But this is this is a guy who's got basketball in the family. Absolutely, I said his half brother is Mustafa Heron. He took the he took the mantle from him. He was able to lead this team basically to an undefeated record. Yes, he missed the tournament, but in the NVL tournament, he's playing with a knee injury. They win it again. I mean, the, the team's won 83 straight games in state competition, and in the and he's the player they're going to have to try and stop next year. It's going to be really hard for teams to do that. All right, so we have uh, gone through 11 players on this All-State squad. We still have our Player of the Year, our Coach of the Year. So get ready, get set. When we come back, we'll unveil the Player and Coach of the Year next here on CT uh, Sports Now. Welcome back. This is a special edition of CT Sports Now here on the Vantage Sports Network. We continue on with our 2017 New Haven Register All-State Basketball Squad. We've met most of the players, but the top coach in the state. Here it is. What a way to finish the season for John Carroll's Sacred Heart team. Undefeated, 28-0 to win the state championship in Class L. 28 no, I, I didn't have on, on my radar at all. And coming into the season, you can understand why. He returned one starter from the previous year, and he lost that player to injury before the state championship tournament even started. The thing that impresses me most is the resiliency of my kids. Um, you know, they got thrown a couple bad breaks, and uh, you know, they kind of said, okay, they acknowledged it, they moved past it, and uh, kept playing basketball. It was great. 
Coach Carroll is quick to credit his players for how they responded to adversity, but kept this team prepared game after game. You prepare a little better for, for your practices. You, you go out and you spend more time you know, looking at other teams and trying to dig up tape, you know, like you guys. Um, and uh, you, you, know, you ask for help. And uh, so everybody worked a little harder and, and I'm definitely part of that too. It's why John Carroll, the head coach at Sacred Heart High School for the last 12 years, is the New Haven Register Coach of the Year. He got it done despite some adversity, as he mentions. Joe, I know this is a, a tough decision every year to pick the Coach of the Year. Yeah, I mean, you could go, I could have gone in several hundred different directions because you could always now as the guys who are taking them from nothing and getting them into the tournament. I mean, it, or you could go with the best guys. I and mean, there are guys you can go with every single year. What John Carroll did, Again, you lose two Division One players, four starters, and, and obviously among them, Mustafa Harrod went to Auburn, and he put the ball in a kid like Raheem Solomon's hands, and he leads the way. So their winning streak since 2014 against in-state competition is what it is. And then he goes down, and you have to readjust your whole thinking and, re and, and put guys in different positions and still manage to win Class L pretty handily. Uh, I think is an impressive accomplishment. Again, they're the only undefeated team, 83 in a row against in-state competition. Uh, I know a lot of people knock Sacred Heart for not being in double L, but you know what? 83 is 83, and he has been a big part of that, and you're, we're honoring the accomplishment of the team uh, as much as we're honoring the person, and he has done a nice job for over the course of this time. Terrific. Well, listen, I think it's, it would be hard to quarrel with John Carroll as, as our uh, head coach, as the uh, New Haven Register Coach of the Year. Yeah. Time now to meet the Player of the Year. I don't think it's any surprise that it's uh, Notre Dame West Haven's Tremont Waters. Never the biggest guy on the court, but always the biggest attraction. This was the scene for just about every Notre Dame West Haven basketball game this season, at home or on the road. People lining up to see Tremont Waters, widely considered one of the top college prospects in the country. Listed at 5'11", Waters can get to the rim just as easily as he knocks down long-range shots. He seems to be able to score at will. It's why he averaged over 25 points, four and a half assists, and four and a half steals a game, leading the Green Knights to an undefeated regular season. Tremont Waters is the New Haven Register Player of the Year. Joe, real quickly, because we're running out of time, but this kid was just so smooth with the ball whenever he had, yeah, he just ran the show so smoothly. Yeah, he was very smooth with the ball, without the ball, he, even on defense. He was a, the consummate all-around player, and he meant so much to that program. Again, best season in Notre Dame's history as far as the regular season goes. Um, and the fact of the matter is he's just eight sellouts to my knowledge, most of them on the road. People want to see this kid play, and he performed almost every single time out. Even against Hill House when they double teamed him in the SEC Championship game, he scored 22. So he was that kind of player. I know they went out earlier than they hoped, but he, to me, he was the best player of the year, start to finish, and it's the entire body of work. March matters, but when you play, perform well as well as he did, it's the entire body of work. Ah, just a, a tremendous player. Want to mention that the New Haven Register and Game Time CT has uh, the, the All-State second team, third team, honorable mention. Right. So, so go to uh, Game Time Connecticut for that. Thank you. Tremendous job putting all this together. Joe, we appreciate it. I'm sure the, uh, the state does as well, as well as all the players. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you on the sideline of some game. Yes. Thank you guys Very for having soon. me. I appreciate it. Our we're, pleasure. We're out of time. We'll see you all later. Thanks for tuning in.